Hey, Grandmaster Keith Hafner here. You know, you were gifted with a marvelous physical body that is capable of seeing you through the entire day, keeping you healthy, fighting off sickness. But a lot of times people's bodies are not functioning properly. And in the operation of this mechanism, just like anything else, we're kind of a bundle of habits. And without proper attention, I think those habits oftentimes devolve into the, the lowest level of, of optimal performance. And I want to talk for a minute about why your back hurts. A lot of times people's backs are sore chronically because they've gotten in the habit of having their fanny stick out. And so I want to talk about two posture things that if you change your habits and begin to operate your machine, your, your mechanism in this way, I think immediately you feel better. And there's a surprise benefit too that I'm going to show you when we get to the end. But for starters, a lot of people are kind of like this. And what you need to do is to tuck your rear end in. And you can kind of think about it like tucking your rear end in. Or another way to sort of visualize this or to practice it is to think of your hip bones pushing them forward like this. Being like this puts a lot of strain on both your hamstrings and your lower back. So number one, tuck that fanny in, push your hip bones forward like this. The other thing is to imagine that you've got a handle right here on your sternum. And imagine as though somebody came along and took that handle and sort of pulled it up at about a 45 degree angle. So what that does is just raises your chest and kind of projects it out a little bit. Now, you combine this with fanny in, chest up, and suddenly your spine just gets to this point where it can relax and do what it's meant to do. If you have back pain and you develop these habits, I think you'll find that it helps a lot. Now, there is a surprise benefit, and that is that you look better to other people. You look more confident, more capable, more focused. And then it doesn't just stop there because the minute people start to perceive you in that way, and remember, we read body language cues all the time. Every person you run into, if they, you know how this is. If, if you see somebody stand like this, you know something's not right. And so the minute you improve your posture and you develop a, a better command over your body language, people start to respond to you differently and that changes how you feel inside. Learning to operate your physical body in powerful ways enables you to feel empowered and alert and ready for anything that comes your way.